اللهم لك الحمد يا من لم تتخذ ولدا ولم يكن لك شريك في الملك ولم يكن لك ولي من الذل والله أكبر كبيرا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد مالك الملك يؤتي الملك من يشاء وينزع الملك ممن يشاء يعز من يشاء ويدل من يشاء بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير سبح له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم له ملك السماوات والأرض يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن لا إله إلا وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين تركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك شرح الله له صدره ووضع عنه وزره وأعلمه أن مع العسر يسرا أن مع العسر يسرا وأمره أن إذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب عباد الله أوصيكم ونفسي مقصرة بتقوى الله وأحذركم ونفسي من عصيانه ومخالفة أمره لزوما لقوله الحق تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وكذلك في قول الحق تبارك وتعالى يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا اتقوا الله واخشوا يوما لا يجزي والد عن ولده شيئا ولا مولود هو جاز عن والده شيئا إن وعد الله حق فلا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا ولا يغرنكم بالله الغرور My brothers and sisters, those who are listening online because we are as a result of the pandemic doing a, 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 a jum, the Jum'a online with limited number of people attending in the masjid according to the laws of the land which are put for our uh, benefit to protect us and, and prevent and stop the spreading of the virus. May Allah protect us and everyone around us. Allahumma ameen. We are indeed in this day of the year which is known to be recognized by the majority of the people in this society as the day of the birth of Isa alayhi salam. And regardless of the fact uh, that Isa was not born in this time and rather than going into the controversial discussion whether he was born in December 24th or was not born, that's not an issue because this is something that is almost a fact that he was born at another time according to the description of his birth in the Quran and all the details. And that's why even within the Christian community, there are two different dates for the birth of Isa alayhi salam and how the uh, association of this holiday along with the tradition of the sun worshippers at, uh, at the time of the Roman Empire have emerged this uh, issue of celebrating the birth of Isa on the 24th of December. Rather than getting into these controversial issues and getting into a debate, let us focus more into other issues that we need to be reminded about uh, uh, within the time that we're remembering Isa alayhi salam as a prophet of Allah. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam indicated that there is awla nasi bi Isa alayhi salam that he is the most who are, who are, the, he is the closest and the the uh, and the, 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 the most closest people to Isa alayhi salam as there were no nabi between him and, and Isa because we know that Allah azza wa jal throughout the time of history uh, throughout the time of humanity the, the, through the history of, of humanity have sent many prophets 
when the uh, when the when the humanity drift from the right path Allah sends a prophet who brings them back to the right path and then eventually by the death and the departure of the prophet people drift once again and Allah Azza wa Jal sent Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be the last and the seal of all the prophets of Allah Azza wa Jal with a very concrete and clear message that is valid until the day of judgment. That's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I am the one who's closest to Isa Alaihi Salam and we are the followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Awla Nasi Bi Isa as we are Awla Nasi Bi Musa Alaihi Salam as it is clear to us and known to us in the story of Al-Isra Al-Mi'raj when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam met Isa Alaihi Salam Musa Alaihi Salam and he said to him أقرئ أمتي منك من من أقرئ أمتي أمتك من السلام. Convey my message to your ummah. Maybe the mic is not on. Convey my to your ummah my uh, my salam. And and as a result, uh, and and Isa alayhi salam is also another prophet that we have connection with. As a matter of the fact. Allah as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indicated in many ahadith that Isa Alayhi Salam is one of the biggest signs of the hour min alamat as as Allah Azza also indicated in the Quran wa innahu al-'ilmu as in another narrations or another qira'ah as it is recited in surah al-zukhruf wa idha dhukra ibn ibn Maryam idha qawmuka minhum yasuddun when, when the Prophet ﷺ used to mention Maryam, uh, uh, Isa ibn Maryam uh, salam, to his own people, the people of Quraysh would be, would be rejecting this, his talk. And Allah Azza indicates uh, the, to, to him, to them, that he is indeed ilmul lissa'a or alamul lissa'a. He is a sign, one of the signs of the hour. And the Prophet ﷺ indicated that Isa alayhi salam will be coming at the end of the time. And he also indicated in a, a different ahadith and in, in different narrations how things would be different. And this is what I'm hoping in my khutbah we will be able to focus on. And this is what I'm hoping that we will be getting a, a, as, we, as we are reminded about Isa alayhi salam. Not the birth of Isa alayhi salam necessarily, but in general. Isa alayhi salam as an ayah. Inna mathal Isa inda Allahi ka mathal Adam khalaqahu min turabin thumma qar lahu kun fayakun. Isa's life was all a miracle. A miracle that reminds us about the power of Allah Azza wa Jal. Reminds us about the, the, the end of life. Reminds us about the sa'a. Uh, as aktarabat al sa'a tu wa nshaq al qamar. And aktarabat al nas hisabu wa humuhum fi ghaflatin mu'ridun. Ma yatihum in dhikr al muhdathin illa istamahuhu wa hum yal'abun. La hiyatan quluhuhum wa asarru al najwa. Indeed, when we remember the akhirah, and we are, when we see the signs that remind us about the akhirah, we become more connected with Allah Azzam. We become more, more, more connected with Allah and less attached with this dunya. Dunya? have killed us as it have killed so many of those who came from before us. Look at us at this present time. We are now being reminded about Isa alayhi salam. Yet, when you go outside, you will see that people are hiding in their homes. You will see that all those, all people on earth are struggling as a result of this pandemic that we're dealing with. We're now dealing with a pandemic that have changed the rules of our life. There is no longer a tradition and, and, uh, and, and, and lifestyle that we, we get used to. Things have changed. As Allah has just mentioned about Quraysh, لإلاف قريش إلافهم رحلة الشتاء والصيف لإلاف قريش Quraysh get used to being so superior and powerful and being the, 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 uh, the most influential tribe in the Arabian Peninsula, things changed the Quraysh as a result of the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We should be looking at what is happening around us as a reminder that, that things are changing. As this virus comes to interrupt people's life, 
as, ha as having caused major disruptions to the global economy as we no longer able to live our life the way we used to live from before. And, and the scientists and the doctors, the medical doctors are saying that this, is, this virus have come to stay with us so that there is no possibility that we're going to eradicate or eliminate this virus from our life. So let us be more mindful and aware that, that, that life is so vulnerable Life is so fragile, and if we're not serious of how we are seeing things in our life, in our connection with Allah, eventually the time will come before we know it, and then a time of our death will be there, and then we will be regretting, and we will, we will be saying uh, uh, that I wish that I have been given another chance or another opportunity in my life to be able to connect with Allah. This is indeed a strong reminder to us. And Isa السلام, is one of the signs of the remembrance of, of, of the hour, the end of time on, on earth. And, and the Prophet وسلم, have associated the, the, uh, the coming of Isa السلام, into this life once again with the signs the bigger major signs of the end of life on earth among them is the dajjal and we all know the story of a dajjal uh, and how he is going to be the biggest fitna that threats all humans and threats the believers and how he will be how he will be causing disruptions and then when it becomes so difficult on the mu'minin on earth and when the movements will be will be uh, surrounded by uh, in the leadership of one of the uh, leaders of the Muslim Ummah known as Al Mahdi from the chain of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's family, and in, in in one day they decide the following decide that they will be getting themselves ready to go and fight the Dajjal, knowing that they are unable to defeat him as they are getting themselves overnight ready for to fight the Dajjal. And when the morning breaks in, and as they call the Adhan for Salat al-Fajr, as they line up for Salat al-Fajr, and we need to be mindful about Salat al-Fajr, because this is the most precious Salat that connects us with Allah Azza wa Jal, so that we will be qualified to be from those, insha'Allah, will be with the, with the soldiers of Isa alayhi salam as the, the Musalleen will be lining up, as the group of believers will be getting ready for Salat al-Fajr, Allah Azza wa Jal will be sending down Isa alayhi salam, leaning on the wings of two, of two angels. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam describes him in, in fine details, how he will be coming down, leaning his head down, and how he will be, the water will be dripping from, from his head as if he were to be uh, coming out from a shower. And Allah, the Prophet وسلم, gives us a good description to Isa alayhi salam to the point that the Musalleen, this group of movements in the leadership of Al Mahdi, will be recognizing Isa alayhi salam and we, they will be welcoming him and say to him, Ya Nabi Allah, go ahead and lead the salah and he will be declining their proposal and will be asking them to lead the salah and he will be praying behind the leader of the Muslims indicating that Isa alayhi salam is coming down to earth not as a believer in the Christianity that, that is believed in right now but rather as a follower of the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam indicated that when he comes down, he will be breaking the cross and he will be killing the pig and he will be, he will be putting down the jizya, meaning to say he will be fighting to, to, the, to, for the truth until all people on earth will be becoming Muslim. This is, this is what may give you the hope that Alhamdulillah, that we are on the right path. We are looking forward for, the, for Isa alayhi salam to come down to save us and to save the humanity. Isa is our savior by being the follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam as the, the, the ahadith will be indicating, as the ahadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi indicated. The question comes here to my younger brothers and sisters 
and to the older ones as well. What have we done to be qualified to be followers of Isa One might be saying, well, things are still too early. Things are, you know, still too early because Isa will be fighting with the sword as he will be killing a Dajjal, as it is known to us in the authentic ahadith, with his hirba, with his sword, or with his knife. And this is still too early. We do have advanced technology. And the answer to this, things are moving too fast. The past year is a clear example of how fast things could, could move and how things could change so rapidly that we might not be able to get that moment of reflection to repent to Allah Azza wa Jal. Do not be fooled and seduced by shaytan. رُبَمَا يَوَدُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ كَانُوا مُسْلِمُونَ 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 ذَرْهُمْ يَأْكُلُ وَيَتَمَتَّعُ وَيُلْهِهِمُ الْأَمَلُ فَسَوْفَ يَعْلَمُونَ People are still building hopes. Oh, once the vaccination is here, then we will be able to go back to normal life. We will be going back to our normal jobs. We will be able to travel as we used to do from before. We will be able to stack the money. We will be able to get the second mortgage and we'll be able to get the second car. We'll be able to do this. We'll be able to do that. And they don't know that your qiyama, your sa'a, is the time of your death. And no one knows when the time of your death except Allah Azza wa Jal. So be ready. Do not delay. Do not say that there is more time, there is still time. Even if you leave the dunya before the coming of Isa alayhi salam, your sa'a, your end is the time of your death. Be from the musalli of Salat al-Fajr. Be from the soldiers of Allah azza wa jal, as Isa alayhi salam said. Ja'inni abdullahi atani al-kitabi wa ja'alani mubarakan. Wa awsani bi salati wa zakati ma dumtu hayya wa barra bi walidati wa lam yaj'alni jabbaran shaqiyya. Where are we from the teachings of Isa alayhi salam? Where are we from being the, those who are ibad, true servants of Allah Azza wa who established the salah, who paid the zakah? And Isa alayhi salam was not a wealthy person who would have surplus money to give the zakah, but the ulama said that he had the knowledge of the deen that he had given to those who were around him. So be from those who earn the money, and spend the money in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. Let us be from barran bi walidati wa lam yaj'alni jabbaran shaqiyya. Let us not be from those who are ashqiyya in their relationship with their parents. This is the crisis that we're living in right now in this time and this era where we're seeing the aquq al-walidayn wal billah have become a norm. When you see people, this, this, when you see young people are, 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 are dealing with their, with their old elder ones in a very disturbing way and they see it as a normal lifestyle. They see it as something that is normal. There's, there's nothing more disruptive and more, more painful and more and more will, 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 will be bringing more the anger of, of Allah than the uquq al-walidayn. This is the punishment that you will get in the dunya before the akhirah because uquq al-walidayn is a dayn, a debt that will be paid to you as you have done it to others around you in your life. Let us be reminded that the time of akhirah is very near. When that time comes, then Isa alayhi salam will be coming down as a Muslim. We'll be calling people to believe in Allah azza wa jal. We'll be inviting, we'll be fighting with the Muslimin to, to in, ensure that, that Islam is the only religion as the Prophet وسلم, indicated. There will be no other religions. Either you are Muslim or none. That's it. No more jizya. This is it. And now the one who will be doing this is Isa alayhi salam, the Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jal. And one of the explanations for one of these scholars said, وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْنِ جَبَّارًا عَصِيَّةً Isa alayhi salam was known to be very passive in his life. He's the caller of the peace and ease throughout his life on earth. But then when he come back again, will be assertive, using the sword to fight in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal and to enforce the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is it. The past time is over, now a new time is in, and there's only one religion, which is the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. Let us be ready for that. Let us be prepared, so Allah has given us the chance and life to be from those who will be witnessing the life of Isa 
then we will be ready. We will be the soldiers of the true Isa alayhi salam, not the followers of Al-Masih al-Dajjal, not the liar Messiah, but the true, the true and, 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 and real Isa alayhi salam. Sometimes we look around us and we wonder, are things going to change? Is Islam going to ever reveal? We all aware of what is happening to the second or to the to the second qibla or, or the first qibla of Islam at Masjid al-Aqsa. We all know what is happening to the land of Palestine. And we all heard about the collaborations and the rushing of the collaborators to 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 ally and to normalize relationships with the occupiers of the land of Palestine, including the Masjid al-Aqsa. And we look around and expand the circle and we see what is happening in the nearby country, Syria. May Allah protect the people of Syria, where Al-Masih Isa salam, will be coming down, where are things being prepared and paved for his, uh, for his time to come down. We say to them, do not worry. Do not worry, despite of the disruptions. Despite of all the agony that the people of Syria have gone through, do not worry. We're seeing hope. We're seeing the truth being, being happening. We expand the circle further even more to see more pain in the, in the Iraq, in Yemen, in Afghanistan. May Allah protect all Muslims on earth. The Muslims of Rwanda, the Muslims of China, name it. We're seeing that Muslims in almost every corner on earth are suffering. We're seeing that, that we are being subjugated to, to killing and to imprisonment and, and, and things are so tough and difficult on us and this is only, and this is only a sign of hope, not a sign that will defeat our spirit. حَتَّى إِذَا اسْتَيَأْسَ الرُّسُلُ وَظَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ كُذِبُوا جَاءَهُمْ نَصِيرٌ Allahu Akbar. Everyone will be defeated with the circumstances that the Muslims are living in and have lived in in the past. Muslims are different. When it gets tight, when it gets difficult, when it becomes so severe, then when at that time, our spirit will be so high, our, our hopes will be reaching the peak because we believe that when it gets so tough, that's the time when the Nasr of Allah will be coming. That's the time when, the, when things will change, whether by the coming of Isa alayhi salam, whether by being the soldiers of Isa alayhi salam, or whether by being like the Sahaba who suffered with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in the early stages of, in Mecca, when the Sahaba were with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in Mecca, they were persecuted, they were killed, they were tortured, but they never gave up the hope in the victory of the name of Allah azawajal. When this ayah was revealed in Mecca, Umar al-Khattab was saying, what Jana is Allah talking about? We are in Mecca. Now, one of us is in the sa on, the, on the desert sand with a rock, with a huge rock on his chest, and another being stabbed and killed, and others being tortured. What Jana is Allah is talking about? And then time come afterwards, when, become, when Muslims become victorious, when the Congregation the Confederators came to attack Medina and they were defeated, then Umar al-Khattab realized that Allah is building the hope in our hearts and minds. When we remember Isa alayhi salam, we remember these values. We remember Isa alayhi salam as Abd to Allah as a person who establishes the Salah, as a person who, is, who, who pays the Zakah and gives the charity in the path of Allah. We see Isa alayhi salam as a source of birr and kindness. We are also looking at Isa alayhi salam as being the savior to us. Our savior, because when he comes back again, he will be calling upon people to believe in the deen of Allah azza wa jal. We pray to Allah azza wa jal that he will open our hearts to the Islam and fill our hearts with the Iman. 
and pour the sabr on us as you have poured it on the Sahaba who were living with the Prophet وسلم, in the difficult times. As he had poured it on the Salihin and righteous who came before the Prophet وسلم, in the difficult times in their da'wah. And we pray for Allah Azza to make us a source of, of hope and rahmah and da'wah to all those around us who are struggling looking for the truth. Alhamdulillah, 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 wa nasta'in, 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 wa اللهم إنا عبيدك أبناء عبيدك أبناء إيمائك يا رب نواصينا يا رب يدك ماضي فينا حكمك يا رب عدل فينا قضاءك نسألك اللهم بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك بأن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا يا رب اجعله جناء لهمومنا وأحزننا يا رحم الرحيم اللهم ارفع الوباء والبلاء على الأرض يا رب العالمين يا الله we pray to you we supplicate to you to lift up this pandemic on earth from the from the people of earth, Ya Alameen. Ya Allah, we pray to you, supplicate to you to make us a true followers of Isa alayhi salam, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ya Allah, we make us to me, we pray to you to make us from those who will be true servant to you, Ya Rabbi Alameen, who will be establishing the salah, who will be paying the zakah, who will be barina to their parents, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ya Allah, we pray to you, supplicate to you to make us a source of rahmah and hope to others around us, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ya Allah, guide us and make us a purpose of, God, of, our, of guidance for others around us, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sahbihi.